Hello, welcome to day 14. I can't believe we're at 14 already. So tomorrow is our halfway point, which is very, very exciting. You've set a goal and you're trying to achieve it and you're halfway there, almost. It's very, very exciting. You should be really, really proud of yourself. So right now we're just in the thick of practicing and repetition and repeating. One thing that I want you to do though, as you do these repetitions is really, really think about how you're feeling as you play. Are you standing tall? Are you breathing well? Are your fingers in a really good relaxed hand position? Don't forget, for example, right hand needs to be curved fingers. Thumb is pushing the flute, not way underneath the flute and grabbing it. So think about some of those very basic things as you go through things slowly today, okay? Because that's gonna help your technique as you get faster and faster in the next few days to come. Okay, so I think we're ready for day 14. Let's get started. So here we go, measure 39. We're gonna start off the 16th and move into the second page of the moquet. All right, so deep breath in, nice slow 16th notes. Let your breath out. And as you breathe in, feel the tempo, feel the energy that you're gonna be playing with. All right, ready, go. We're going to start in measure 39 and the eighth note is going to be 90. So we're getting a little bit faster, but still breathing deeply, still trying to feel how we're phrasing within these 16th note patterns. Look for patterns every two measures, every four measures, and let's bring out the dynamics this time. Okay, deep breath in. One, two, ready, go.
do this today. We are going to do quarter note equals 50. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Measure 39. Deep breath in. I want you to feel that tempo at the quarter note. So we're thinking 16th notes in one beat, four 16ths in one beat. And then let your air out and try to think about this flow, this ever-changing 16th note pattern. Let your air out again as you breathe in one last time and really feel how good you are. Empower yourself with this. You can do this. Ready, go. try to go into measure 61 and we're going to get the third page ready so get the third page up on your stand because we're going to go right into the third page and play all the way through to the end so what I want you to do don't forget look on your music because this music isn't coming through as clearly on the computer screen so what we're gonna do we're gonna have the quarter note at 50 still so it's gonna feel really slow at 61 but as we move into the second page, we'll be able to keep it on the quarter note. And we'll just go right through that second page. So, I want you to take a deep breath. Here we are at 61. It's a little bit more expressive, mysterious, and piano with this nice crescendo. So deep breath in. Tell yourself you can do this as you blow out some air. You are going to kick butt on this. Okay, deep breath in. Ready. Go.
take that slow tempo, but that's the last time we're gonna take it that slow. So tomorrow we're going to continue and we'll be faster with our quarter notes. And I'm so excited. We have so many great projects that can come from this. Don't forget, this is written for flute and orchestra as well. So if there are any competitions in your city or town nearby maybe, um, you might be able to enter into competitions to play this as a solo with an orchestra. So take a look at what's available for you to play. Okay, very good job everybody. I'll see you back here tomorrow.